today I'm going to share my spring stroke Easter decor home tour um, first of all I'll show you my cubby I haven't done a lot in here because I've got so much stuff going on already um, I've put the little bunny lights up there if you can see at the top there and I just put the light on so you can see so there's those little bunny lights that I got from Poundland last year. I've put my little craft picture that I made the other year down there. And there's the woolen chicks there that are going in the Easter baskets. And then I've got my other bunny light there. And there's the flannel I made and shared with you on camera so that is my cubby as I said I've got an awful lot going on at the moment so that's one reason I haven't done a lot back doorway I've just got rid of those bookends that were up here along with the owls and I've put the books um, on this side and that wooden peach and mint green tree I've put there it does actually hide the hook which I put it there before with those two um, little birds and my little rabbit there I have kept the little heart there and I've decided to leave the heart canvas there as it goes with that wicker heart then what I've done is I've put my little sign down there because depending on the weather is where we actually do the Easter egg hunt, whether it be indoors or outside. And then I've just finished up with that little wooden duck. I've tried to arrange it that the stuff that's I'm not so precious about or is um, sort of less breakable lower down because of our granddaughter. Starting here. I do have the bunny thing going on, so I've got my other bunny there. And then I have got her other rabbit sitting on this little wicker basket. That, the basket I got from the charity shop. And inside, I've just put the other bunnies. And in there is the um, plastic egg set. I can open it that she plays with an awful lot. Um, we do have a toy selection upstairs that we bring down, so there's her little eggs in there. So it's just a few bits. When she's done any, when she's here any length of time, we get all her toys out and her little pop-up tent, which will be over Easter as she is staying with us. I've got that large rabbit which I got from Home Bargains for 9 99 It's quite nice because I've uh, got plenty of light and down here is the other rabbit that I got from TK Maxx for £5. Then we have my mantle and there's the other big rabbit over there that I got from TK Maxx Size that some bunny loves you. These I've had for quite some time. These two little rabbits here, I got from the charity shop, I believe it was last year. Then I've used my um, candlestick, and on top of that, I've got this rabbit in the little dome, and I actually got that from Asta a fair few years ago, after the season and um, reduced and then there is that other little bunny there finishing up with the little bunny reef that I got from Home Bargains. I have actually taken quite a few of my owls out and I have got that bunny cushion and the one that says Hello over there from Amazon. 
and my plant is over there that I got from um, the range. And then just in the hallway, as I've showed you before, I've got my little flower wreath over there. So that is the lounge back doorway and my cubby so far. Oh, and then I've put the little bunny moss grass ornament there. When our granddaughter's here, we normally pick the candles up and my wax melt. So that is so far and then I'll show you the kitchen and dining room. Right, I haven't done a lot in my kitchen. On my shelves, this is usually where I keep my decorative bits and I usually leave those flowers all year and just change the container that I put them in. So I've swapped it around for this um, like cream and black lighting one. Um, I've had this container years and I use it for different things. Sometimes it's in the bathroom and I just put extra products in there. But I thought I'd take out the red jug just to turn it down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna change this area or not. And then there's those two little um, money um, boxes that I got from Poundland, I believe it was last year. And so just there, especially as I'm quite sure, you can't tell that they are actually money boxes. And I don't tend to put too much decor in the kitchen. The only couple of little tweaks I've done is I put that, those, um, that little um, wooden chick up there and that little um, chick, um, the grass topiary, do you call it, up there. So I may do something else. Um, the wooden hens that I, I know it's not really Easter, is staying there and I've got that little schoolhouse. So at Christmas time and Halloween, I changed that around. Um, but I think that's fine for the time being. It could change. If it does, that I'll let you know. Then down here, I've put that other little bunny pot and then I got this one, which they do sell them again, this one. I got this from Home Bargains, I believe that was last year, and I've just put a lot of Easter treats in there at the moment, and that little plaid that stays there, and I've left my owls there for the time being. As I said, I haven't done, that's the only little bit I've done in the kitchen. That is only because we do have a family get together on Easter Sunday so I'm refraining from showing the dining room at this present time because that will definitely change um, because that's where I'm going to put all the food but I just wanted to finish this video thanks for watching goodbye